I'm going to be painting this mission style table in Annie Sloan's graphite and to match the chairs that I've already done. So you can come along and watch while I paint it. And so you're not too bored watching me paint. I'm going to have you listen to my friend Laura Williams sing as I go through each stage of painting and finishing this table. So I hope you will enjoy the whole process. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer uh, any queries you have. Enjoy. We had to sand the top of it, but it turned out pretty good. If you enjoyed my friend Laura Williams singing, I will leave a link in the description to her website. She has a few albums that I highly recommend. To be honest, this was one of my more least favorite projects that I have ever tackled, simply because it reminded me of painting chairs 
and I really do not enjoy painting chairs. <laughs> Getting between all those spindles is such a pain, but I am pleased that I got her done, and I love the way it looks. I really enjoy working with Annie Sloan's chalk paint. Only two coats, and the table is nicely covered. I don't feel like I need to do any more and it's so easy to apply too, and there's no clumps. It's just quite luxurious paint. To paint the table two coats and the chairs two coats took one quart of her paint. So that's pretty good, I think. The term mission style furniture belongs to the arts and crafts uh, movement, and the word mission refers to the Spanish missions throughout colonial California. It became popular in the early 1900s and the mission style is designed that emphasizes simple horizontal and vertical lines and flat panels that accentuate the grain of the wood which is often oak. It became popular because people were seeking relief from the Victorian style that was before them. I guess they were tired of the frilly, curvy lines of the Victorian era. So um, the mission style is plain oak furniture that was upright, solid, and suggestive of entirely handcrafted work. This is one of the rare times that I did not distress my furniture. I usually love to distress, but I felt that the mission style just didn't lend itself to distressing, so I kept it a solid color. And I'm using an acrylic top coat sealer for the whole piece. I usually do it just for the tabletop, but I decided to paint the legs as well. And so I really love the way it all came together the chairs I had done before, and happily I sold it within an hour of putting it up for sale, so I'm very happy about that. If you would like a chance to own my furniture, then please like my Facebook page, Skiing Cow Creations, and if you would like to see more movies and demonstrations, then please subscribe to this channel. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video.